My name is Mitch Golden. I'm the Administrative Manager of Operations for the Teton County Sheriff's Office. A lot of people think that the Sheriff's Office log is usually fairly lighthearted, which, you know, uh, we, we try to kind of throw in those, those funnier stories just to keep it a little light. But in, in the grand scheme of things, the overall, you know, uh, caseload that we have to deal with can sometimes be quite serious. But uh, usually those stories that are more serious are usually covered by a full story rather than just the sheriff's log. Uh, traditionally, it's just been kind of uh, the more quirky stories, the more quirky cases out there have usually been reserved for the sheriff's log. It's amazing. The job of a dispatcher is really difficult in that it's sometimes uh, referred to as one of the more stressful parts of the first responder uh, job because, for one thing, you're the first person that's notified you are usually stuck behind the desk for the entire duration of the call and uh, very few times does a dispatcher actually get any resolution on what happened during that call and so for them it's a very stressful thing being stuck behind the desk where they sometimes feel like they can't really do a whole lot you know people call in to, to ask for help and they help in their way but sometimes it always feels like you could do more or you sometimes want to jump in your car and go take care of the, that person yourself. But uh, dispatchers play a huge role in the first response community and unfortunately sometimes they're kind of overlooked. As far as the sheriff's log, uh, <laughs> there is a number that's usually attached to the, to, the, uh, uh, to the sheriff's log and that includes the number of calls. What the general public I, I feel uh, don't realize is that we go through a very large call volume for a community of our size. Like lots of other departments where uh, we are understaffed and uh, I don't think that the, the public quite realizes just how much work we actually do on a day-to-day -day basis. The Sheriff's Log for the most part really is, res is kind of reserved for uh, kind of the, the more un uh, less ordinary type calls. Um, and I, I do have heard of people that, you know, former residents that still maintain a subscription out of state or, you know, get clippings or, you know, look into things that are going on in the sheriff's log just because historically, you know, ever since I was a little kid, I could remember, you know, if you wanted to see something, you know, interesting, go to the sheriff's log in the newspaper and you're always going to find something interesting there. So it's not surprising that, that people stu still do it. And I think the, the main reason that people enjoy the sheriff's log so much is because it kind of, it's the normal but unordinary day-to-day -day things that affect our valley. And there's just no getting away from it. It's just sometimes weird things happen.